Hey folks, this is Johnny and welcome to another Home Studio Trainer Show. And uh, this one is for Tuesday, July 11th. Yes, I know it's Thursday. I'm catching up. All right. So one of the, <laughs> I just released a video uh, earlier today um, showing how to use uh, transform to audio with a multi-instrument VST plugin. And my example was Sample Tank 4. Well, the video's doing okay, and but it prompted a lot of questions on where do I get Sample Tank 4? Well, obviously the answer is IK Multimedia, but uh, so I guess between then and now, somebody went and downloaded it and tried it, and they says, but I can only get the instruments to go out one output. Uh, he wants more channels in the channel area here. So I thought I would do a video on that for him. So here we go. So uh, if you could, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Enable the notifications so that you know when these silly things are going to start. <laughs> Become a member. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Become a member. Excuse me. Uh, let's see. There are three super affordable levels to becoming a member and you can financially support the channel even with just a buck uh two bucks i think it is i'd have to go back and look it's been a little bad all right so here we are in the classroom and i've darkened everything again uh here we go here is sample tank this is what it looks like and then this is the song i created <laughs> I dropped my um, device block size, so it's crackling a bit now. Uh, so, so the question is, how do I get all of these different instruments to come out of their own outputs so I don't have to use this mixer to mix them? So he also wanted to be able to add his own Studio One effects to the channels and everything like that. He didn't want to use the effects here. He basically wanted to use whatever came out of the plugin, but to all the processing in Studio One. So here is how to do it. So if you go over here and there is an instruments box here that you can click on to open this little window. Let me actually go ahead and zoom in for you. All right. So it's right here show instrument rack boom and here's sample tank so now we've got eight instruments above <laughs> but we only have one output so it for sample tank and you know this actually applies for the most part to things like native instruments and other multi multi timbral or multi instrument vsd plugins so the uh so the settings for those other plugins are similar but I'm just going to show you Sample Tank 4 because it's the only one I have other than Contact. So let's go back. And, oh, actually, no. I want to keep that zoomed in. So let me uh, give you guys a headache and zoom in again. <laughs> so here we go, Sample Tank. So if you click on the little carrot here, you can choose to expand. And oh, look at that. So Sample Tank. <clears throat> See if I can get my voice to work. Sample. I can't say it. <laughs> sample Tank has all of these stereo outputs available. This is nice. But we only need eight for the eight tracks that we have up above here. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this one here as the first set. And we're going to actually put a check mark next to three and four, five and six, seven and eight, nine and 10, 11 and 12. Whoops. 11 and 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There we go. So now we have channels. All the channels we need for the instruments in question. <clears throat> Pardon my voice, it's been a long day. All right, so now how do we get the instruments to these channels? It is easier than you could possibly imagine. So let's go ahead and open up sample tank. And there it is. So now, if you look at the bottom of these channels, you can see you have the ability to assign the outputs. So we're going to keep the drums on one and two. We're going to put the, that's a little off screen. 
We're going to put the base on three and four. Then we're going to do the next one on five and six. We're going to do the next one on seven and eight. We're going to do the next one, nine and ten. And the next one on eleven and twelve. Next one on 13 and 14, and the last one on 15 and 16. So now, if I did this right, we should have all of the instruments on their own Studio One channels. Ready? And of course, the mix is all messed up because they had certain volumes in the plugin. All right, so let's go ahead and turn, let's see, I wonder if my little volume or fader thing will work. Ah, it does, cool. So what we're gonna do is we're going to return the drums to the top. All right, let's start mixing. Right. So since we're going to be using our own plugins here, let me take care of this top part here. There we go. All right, I can bring this down. So that's a little bit too much bass for me. So let's go ahead here and go to the Pro EQ. We're gonna take off a little bit of the low. Okay, let's see. There we go. Perfect. Well, not perfect, but <laughs> you guys get the idea. So let's see what's next. Let's bring this over here. All right, let's go back to the default. I'm just gonna keep um, the panning the same in the um, in the IK mixer. Let's see what's next. Let's see. I'm gonna do a high cut a little bit. Cool. So what's next? Ooh. There we go. Those are just little um string sna uh string snaps. All right, one more. Cool, and now for our solo track. Okay, now what I want to do here. There we go, now, those little stab starts don't hurt so much. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> All right. 
So there we go. So now we are not using the mixer in IK, uh, in sample tank, sorry. Um, although, actually, we kind of are, aren't we? Because we have the pans. Okay, so I'm going to have to do this now. <laughs> going to have to do this now. So let me see. Can I do just a click and a reset? Don't think so. Let's see. Click and reset. Oh, there we go. Click and reset. I am uh, holding down the command key and clicking the pan fader to reset all of the positions. Now, we're going to go here. Now, see, the only thing that I would have to do is I would have to retype all of the instrument names down here. Kind of a pain. I know that there, I think that there is a way to bring them down here, but I don't know it. So let's see. Let's start with, uh, let's start with, let's mute everything. Uh, let's see, I guess that doesn't work that way. Let's see, let's mute everything except for the first ones. Let me see if I can duplicate. Here's this one. There we go. I had him over there. Stick. And head over there. And then I had this in the center and the solo in the center. There we go. <laughs> We're rocking. <laughs> I don't know if everybody likes this song as much as I do. All right, that's going to do it. I could just sit here and just groove to this thing. All right, uh, what do you guys think? You guys think uh, this was uh, worth the price of admission? I think which was free. Um, and uh, being able to reset the mixer in your VST instrument. And being able to assign each of the instruments to their own Studio One channel. And it gives you the ability to mix like this. Not bad for a uh, free theist instrument. <laughs> Very cool. All right, that's going to do it for me, folks. Let me go ahead and give that a stop. We'll go back to here. And what do you guys think? I would really like it if you guys would start making comments in the comments area. Good or bad, it doesn't matter. i really like to know what you guys are thinking. Do you like the instrument? Do you think um, it's worth downloading? It is free and it isn't timed. It doesn't expire at any point. But it gives you some really, really good instruments. Oh, the other thing. The other thing somebody wanted to hear was the acoustic guitar that I had. Let's see if I can do this here. I don't know if it's going to play now. There we go. I wanted to hear what it sounded like. I think it sounds cool. It it really doesn't do very well for strums. I would have to get out my old Oberheim strummer. For those of you old MIDI guys who knows what an Oberheim strummer is, it is a pretty cool device. All right, one more time. Ready? <laughs> and you're like, no, not again. All right, folks, if you guys could, I'd really appreciate it if you would hit that like button and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so that you know when these things are going to start. 
And if you really want to support the channel, become a member. There are three super affordable um, options for you to choose from to support the channel. So I would like you to at least consider that. All right. I do appreciate you guys coming in. And hopefully I'll be able to catch up on all the videos while my CPU spikes. All right. Here we go. Take care, folks.